And frankly, when this recession turns around, which it's starting to do, uh, the district will be the first jurisdiction to come out of it. And I always, as you know, like to point out how much better the city is doing than our counterparts in Maryland and Virginia, who in the mid-90s never missed an opportunity to be critical of us. And so I do hope that they recover, but I do want to point out how badly they are actually doing compared to the city. Well, last week we had the Maryland Comptroller on, and he was pointing out that area officials, although he was talking more specifically about Mer members of the Maryland legislature, have way too optimistic a view about where this economy <laughs> is going to be going right now. You seem to share that optimism, at least for the District of Columbia. Yeah, and again, for the district, because, uh, you know, we have such a solid uh, financial uh, situation here, uh, and again, looking across our main sources of revenue, the sales tax down a little bit, but not bad, uh, property taxes leveled off, and income taxes leveled off. So as long as we're in that situation, and face it, Kojo, the district has become really the center of not only the, the region, but the country, uh, the federal government attracting so much more to come here. Our, our always biggest challenge is, and I'll say this, is competing with Virginia for incoming new business. Maryland's kind of taken themselves out of it with their tax rates, but Virginia still remains a very difficult competitor when the Marriott's, or I guess it's the Hilton's and other groups move to the region. Let's, uh, let's talk about, so we, a lot of pundits like uh, me and Kojo spend a lot of time talking about the budget, the financial yeah. situation. Let's talk about something more uh, sort of on the ground for D.C. residents, that's jobs. Um, we've got a 11% unemployment problem in the, in the District of Columbia. And uh, there was a very interesting article in the Washington Business Journal not too long ago that said, you know, for the longest time the district uh, economic development apparatus focused on increasing the tax base, increasing uh, revenue for the District of Columbia, and they never really focus on bringing jobs to the district. Um, would you agree with that criticism, and uh, what, do, what, do you, what do you see the future is in that area? I, I would not agree with that criticism. What we uh, have intended to do is grow their tax base and then to uh, make sure, make an effort, let's put it that way, that the new jobs created in the district, which are a lot, uh, we actually have more job creation in the district than we have unemployed. Our biggest challenge has been able to match up our residents with the jobs. And what I had just had a meeting with the Washington Interfaith Network uh, this week on this very point. Job training is important, but many of our residents are not even at the stage of job training. They are almost at life skills training. You know, when do you, how do you get out of bed? What do you wear to a job? You know, how do you deal with what you and I take for granted that many individuals in the city just have not had that opportunity. And so the idea of just having job training to be an electrician at the baseball stadium probably is not the way to go because we have many residents who are not at the stage to even deal with that. Do we need to look at when when, when the when the mayor's office is looking at disposing of uh, pieces of city property, do we need to look at the number of jobs it creates along with tax issues, uh, you know, w uh, community relations, things like that. Again, it goes back to job skills training and job training. And so, yes, when we do anything we do involving the private sector, we like to bring in the idea of providing resources to do this kind of training and job skills. And uh, and I think we're doing that. And, I, and again, there's some programs, Ibrahim Mookman and Shaw and his wife uh, have a great program that does this, that came out of the convention center. Baseball stadium, the same thing. A lot came out of those uh, two projects that have uh, really been a base to help our residents. And, and uh, we just have to continue to follow on that. I know Ibrahim Mumin. Guess what ward he lives in? Mike ward Bonas. 2. No, the second one. Yeah, you said Shaw. That's <laughs> Ward 2. That's where, that's where the convention center is. <laughs>